Hey guys, this is Hope Set It Back with another Hope Set. What was this? Hold on. Let's do that again. Hey guys, this is Hope Set It Back with another Hope Set It Uncut video for you. Um, today we're talking about hair, okay? I told you every once in a while, about once a month-ish, I'm going to talk about hair. And today I have a review for you. That's why I'm looking a little funny. So, you know, we're in quarantine time or whatever. Um, we're safer at home. So, um, my hair has not been my main focus. It just has not been. So I said, you know what? I remember that I bought uh, a tool that may be able to help me out and I haven't used it, but once or twice. And I don't even remember if it works. And if you know what I'm talking about, if you read this week's blog post on hopesetit.com, you would know that I'm talking about the Q Redo. Now, what is the Q Redo? Well, it is a, uh, a portable steamer, a portable hair steamer. Okay. So, um, you know, I mean, it's a little cute product or whatever, but I'm not about cute, okay? I'm about function. Cute too, but you know, cute and functional, that's what I'm talking about. So, um, I'm gonna go step by step. I have the user manual straight from the website, so I don't wanna hear anybody say, you yeah, ain't using it right. I'm using it correctly. We'll just see what it does. Now, I'll tell you right now, uh, if you have, and I hate hair typing, okay? But if you have the th type three-ish -ish hair, maybe, for A-ish hair, uh, it's gonna work probably for you, okay? This, this review is not for you. This review is for my four Zs out there, those coarse, 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 my hair is hay um, people out there, okay? Because I wanna see if the q redo can replace the lock moisture method that I do. Um, do I, can I do it less often if I q redo? okay? So we'll just see, and this is gonna be raw, okay? This is. This hair right here, y'all gonna see. Okay, okay, q redo. Let's see if you have your work cut out for you because um, you'll see. So step number one is to fill the reservoir. The reservoir, fill it up uh, with water. So it's a little tiny thing. I'm probably gonna have to fill this up like five times before <laughs> if I wanna get my whole head, but I'll go ahead and fill it up. Hold please. Okay, so I have filled it up with water. I need to put it back into the device. If I can do that, it's real easy actually. You know, it clicks right in, comes right off. Um, and then I plug it in, it says plug it in. Step number two is to plug it into the electrical outlet. And I'm doing that right now, it's right here. Hold please. Can y'all see it? Okay, so it's gonna do this. It's going to warm up. It says when the light turns solid, it's ready to use. And that did not take long. I literally plugged it up a couple seconds ago. Okay. So you press it, I guess, and just wait. Ooh, y'all see that thing? Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna take off my my scarf and get ready to use this. Ooh, y'all didn't know I had this under here, huh? Ooh. <laughs> so we'll see, like, listen, it's not moisturized. I don't know how it looks, but yeah, it, it's, it's not. So let me take one piece. <laughs> let me just do one piece of hair. Look at this, looking like Pippi Longstocking, okay. I'm gonna take one piece of hair. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. My hair's not in the most horrible state, but it's like right on borderline of sis. It's not about to be moisturized for long. So I will take a piece of hair. What does it say next? I'm gonna read it word for word. It says, test it out. I'm not gonna do that because I, I don't have time for that. But um, pull the trigger and a warm mist will rejuvenate, yada, yada, yada. So I'm gonna go like I usually do for the lock moisture method. Just start at the back and see what happens. Let me just rejuvenate it. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, it's kinda hot, y'all. Don't, don't get it too close to your scalp. Okay. Oh, Lord. I'm not the greatest, greatest tester out here. Hold on. Well, y'all see my sides? Heaven help me. Okay, so it's just burst. It's like a mitt. It's like just bursting some steam into the situation. It's pretty good, actually. If you have a little bit, like a tiny bit of moisture still in your hair, I think it'll kind of work to revive it. So let me. Okay. So that's the first piece. Okay. We're cured doing it. Okay, this is the second section. 
just to burst it up a little, get up in there without burning yourself. Like I said, all you're doing is kind of bursting the steam into your strands. Okay, okay. See, I wanna see though if it works when it's dry. Cause you know, anything is a little better when it's a little wet, but like if my hair dries from the steam, will it even matter anymore, you know? Kind of shedding in the process, excuse me. And it says don't place the prongs directly on your scalp because that's probably gonna burn you. So just know that these prongs are not supposed to be like this. You kind of keep it far away from you and just kind of burst it, burst it. I also want to see how long the water lasts, you know, because surely that little reservoir cannot do it for my whole hair, right? Mm, we'll see. But it is steam though, so it is kind of killing my texture. <laughs> that braid pattern that I had, it's killing it because it's steam, but I guess I can just, you know, braid it back up or braid it back out, twist it up, whatever the case may be when you're done with it. Uh, but yeah, that's something to notice. Like if you think you're about to, well, for my hair type, if you think you're just about to go, like steam and go, yeah, watch out now because it, it could, could turn into a little cloud on you and that's not too cute unless you like it i mean whatever that's not my style uh but you can see the shrinkage <laughs> is a happening so uh yeah watch out for that i mean is it that well it feels different i will i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie to you it does feel different um i'll wait till it dries a little more though so let me do the other side Oh, I forgot I'm still recording. Okay, um, so I'm done with this side. Uh, it's not bad. Is it a, a huge change from how it was? Not really, but you can tell like it did get a boost of something. So basically this is how my hair would feel if um, it was a tad dry, but yet it's humid outside. It's the same thing. Oh, hey, hello, I got another piece of hair, hold on. Okay, so let me do the other side. Oh, I got a bobby pin in my hair, didn't even know it. Let me see if I still have steam in this. I do. Oh, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> but it told me not to put the prongs directly on my scalp. I didn't, but I still got it close. So just, you know, watch out for that. This is steam at the end of the day, it is hot. Oh. I guess that means it's done. I was able to get through most of my hair I mean, I, in a perfect world, I'd probably, you know, do it, uh, probably fill it up again and just, you know, get everywhere. I don't know, guys. I don't think this is any different than, oh, it's raining outside and my hair gets the moisture of the outside, you know, if that makes sense. I don't know if it's like, a, it's not a magic product. It's just cool. Maybe if you live in drier areas and you need that humidity. Um, if you already live in a humid place, why I don't think you'd really need this unless you're deep conditioning or something, you know, and then you're going to wash it out. Cause even now, um, it's not bad. I will not, it, it, it helped retain moisture, revive the moisture inside. Um, uh, but yeah, it also made my hair huge as humidity does. I wouldn't be able to just cure do and go. Cause then I'd be going looking like, this uh and that's not what i'm doing i lost the texture i had with the braid out um but it is um you know nice nice uh, little hydration of burst of hydration it added in there so that's cool but you know um like i said if you let hold on let me find out the price it's, oh child well it's 78 dollars without tax and without shipping 78. 
I mean, they do have four interest-free installments of $19.50. But yeah, if you have to do payments, you probably can't afford it. So just don't. But either way, listen, you do what you want to with your finances. As for me and mine, um, I did not get it for $78. But would I, would I today buy it for $78? Oof. Um... <laughs> If I had extra money to splurge, possibly, but otherwise I would just, you know, spritz some olive oil juice on my hair or something. Did this replace the lock moisture method? Um, no, no. I would equate this to, um, you know how you have dry shampoo? Dry shampoo is not going to take the place of your actual wash day. It will just make it last longer. So in the same way, I wouldn't just not do the lock moisture method. I probably would just do the cure do and buy myself a couple of days or something like that. You know, so that's really what this product is. So I haven't had hair in my eye. So yeah, this buys you, well me, a couple days. Cause guys, my hair is, um, it thirsts for moisture, okay? So I mean, I could just not be the typical hair type, but these results are not gonna last for days and days and days, you know, not for me, not for my hair type at least. Is it a good product? Yes. If you live in a humid area, would you really need this? I don't see why. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't because I, I feel like that atmosphere would just be infused into your hair anyway. I don't know if I'm making sense, but it makes sense to me. Maybe not necessarily for my hair type, it works 100%. I know for some people, like even in the, in the uh, commercials, it's like zing, zing, zing. And you go with a cute little wash and go. And I'm like, wash and go? I ain't going nowhere like this. What you talking about? <laughs> so uh, yeah, like I said, it will probably just buy you more time to moisturize if you have hair like mine. It is quick. So it only took about 10 minutes to do the whole thing. Lock moisture method, that takes me a good 45 an hour because I'm detangling as I do it, you know, but this, the steam kind of went everywhere and it, it was faster. So that was cool. You know, you kind of get refreshed, um, but that's what it is, a refresher. Don't think you're not going to put moisturize in your hair anymore. You will, but as you see, I'm looking a little crazy. So for my hair type, you would need to use it and then maybe before the style, not after as it sometimes is advertised. So let me uh, get my braid pattern back. Let me braid it back up. Okay, I'm done writing that, but even so, it just feels like I need a little something. You know, my hair type just, like I said, it's a real thirsty. So even after that, I mean, it feels decent, but I know my hair and I probably just need just a little oil. Okay, so let me get some grapeseed oil and just kind of, you know, it don't take much. It just See, I mean, it helped a little, you know, I'm not gonna, it's okay, but like I said, maybe my hair type is a little extra thirsty. Tie it back with my two scarves, with my two scarves. So that is the Q Redo. Does it work? Um, yes. Is it worth $78? If you're a product junkie, if you just want to try it out, I say go for it. But is it a necessity? I don't think so. Will I use it again? Probably in between. Like if my hair is really dry and it's not going to rain or anything <laughs> for a while, I'll probably, you know, do what I did tonight and just um, uh, steam it up before I braid it up at night. But otherwise, I think you're good. If your hair is not thirsty like mine, I mean, eh. Yeah. But give it a try yourself. Listen, I'm just talking about my hair type. Maybe it will work for you. Um, but that's all I have for now. That is Cure Do. If you want me to check out any other product, I'm not a guinea pig, but maybe I was thinking about it already and I'll go ahead and record it. Um, just like that dang easy detangler. It's on like every one of my social media feeds, easy detangler with the little, you know, and I talked about it on here before, the little thing and then the brushes. And I said, I'll get it for my sons. 
it's not even expensive. It's like two for $15 or something. So I might try it out. That's probably the next product I will get. I won't try it on me because I don't really like brushing my hair, but I'll definitely try it on my boys because my goodness, getting their hair detangled is a chore. And I hope that those reviews are right about that brush. So I'll let you know next time, but thank you so much. I hope this helped you decide whether you want to or want to not buy the cure do. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. What's on your face? It's this one. Yeah, this one. That's the ear. Yes, it's for my hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. It's for my hair. Okay, hold up.